how's it going folks? I'm Scott Stragan and this is Ark Adventures. So as you see we don't have any platform there anymore. I kind of demolished it, thrown everything onto the Parasaur. And we're right now we've got a saddle for the Pteranodon. Which we're now going ahead towards our new base location. Which Still not hundred percent sure yet, but I'm thinking I'm thinking there's a few places I've got in mind. But yeah, if you're enjoying the series, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not yet subscribed, the subscription's most appreciated and totally welcome. Also hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode and leave me a wee comment let me know what you think. Shower. We've got, well, apart from these walls over here, I'm just going to sort them down. Because um, we can clip them down onto the, in, in the foundations. Um, basically, we're going to have to build down the way instead of bottom to top, top, so we need to change to top to bottom. Sometimes it can be a bit of a pain. Um, it's, let's see, we don't need a whole lot. 
and get back up here. So, oh, I'll come up there. We go. Right, so we need single walls. Personally, I like to keep building the same way as I go that when I start, sort of thing. So, basically, if I build top to bottom, stay building top to bottom, I'm not really keen on chopping and changing. Sometimes you go to but um, one more should do it fine, and that should be as nice and it should be us a bit cosier. I know we've got this big absolute clumpy bit of rock but we will, the base will change and we will evolve. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to skate down our bits and pieces again um, so we can start getting some progress made. Um, we need to get metal smell on and stuff like that. We've got tons of narcotics so we've got plenty of stuff to knock things out with. We'll just throw that in the other now. And grab some. And get some meat and stuff getting cooked up as well. I just want to throw everything down there now so we can figure out what we've got, what we're needing, and basically. So nothing's going to be fancy, fancy. All I think is place this table, we're going to have to keep making tables. What is that? Oh, a table. That's a wooden bench. Ah, well. There we go. Um, demolish. And uh, crafting. We will. There's a the table there. But wanted a chair. I could have easily made a chair. Now we should have been able to pick the thing up. Um, right, okay. So I'm just going to skate along and up. Make sure nothing's sticking through. As I say, all this is just temporary. We will organise it a bit better. I do like organising things in proper places, but at the moment we're just. This is a new location. We've got a lot of work to do. You need to get out and start getting some taming done, I think. Um, but definitely, definitely will be needing. Yeah, um, we'll definitely be needing a, a knockout flyer, I think. Either Tyrannodon or RJ. I actually don't think we're at RJ level yet. Um, that gives us a spawn point. Hey folks, so basically we're over here at Herbie Island now, and now we're going to farm up a wee bit, and we're just going to go about killing all the Ankies and all the Tyrannodons. Unless it's an Oxic Tyrannodon, which I'll need to bowl first and then kill, if not it'll knock us out. So basically all all the pterandons, we want to try and get some anoxic pteranodon spot in here. So basically what we will do is land, bring out a bowl up. We'll grab our own pteranodon and we'll just Dispatcher, and I'm hoping by doing this, it works with vanilla creatures. But I'm hoping then it's going to start maybe when it, instead of spawning a normal one in, it will maybe spawn a noxious one in. So we're going to do this with the Yankees as well. Just going to keep an eye out. Thank you because I don't want him 
don't know, you need anything else. Should we just fly over here quickly? Oh, look at these two obnoxious Anki. There we go. That is perfect. That will come in really, really well. Right, so. Now we just need to. Oh, that obnoxious is coming. That is a problem. If that noxious hits us, we're out cold. Right, so we will just let him chill out. But he will keep coming over. I need two arrows. See, this is going to be the same problem as we go for the Tyrannodon, but Tyrannodon should be a lot easier. Should have actually brought the Parasaur with us. Never thought. There we go, and he's down. So what, four, four regular kibble. Crafting kibble. That's one, two, three, four. Perfect, and he's safe there. So, no need to worry about him. Right, so we'll leave him there just to team up, and we'll put our tracking on. so we know where he is. Great level as well, 340. I know we've got 600s on, but the modded dinos are far superior to the to the regular vanilla ones. Plus we get some levels. Right. Uh, what we are, what we are, what we are. Right, and I can be like over there, so that's weight as well. Basically, I'm just going to start piling the points onto my weight now. Um, we'll need it for farming. Really, I don't need to kill exactly Ankies anymore, will I? Because. For the reason. Leads. Lots of leads. Noxious Tyrannodon on there's the 220. I think we'll just go for him. I just hope I have enough arrows. Ah, sorry. Yeah, we got him. See? There we go. And one kibble. Crafting kibble. There we are. Perfect. Yeah, it might only be a 220, but it's good better stats than the one I'm already on. Which gonna swap saddles once this one teams up. I'm gonna have a look at fly about but because It wasn't that much to actually take that one down. You get, get a better turn on that would be cool. We're a lot safer on noxious teams than we are on ordinary teams because we can't get the get knocked out by noxious ones. Where are you? Take 168. Right. Number 3, let me see, just bring up the marker and track that one as well. So, it won't be the first time I've been taming something and it's uh, kind of despawned on me and I haven't noticed. I went back looking for it and going, where the hell is it? And it actually despawns, so. Well, Great having these wee trackers now that you can actually keep an eye on what you've got knocked out. Right there. Two sixteens to go. Two hundred basil. Nice. Um, I don't know if you can get a knockout basil. <laughs> I haven't checked, but oh there we go. Our buddy's up. He's awake. Oh, she's awake. 509 it turned out. 
1.6 kW, 817 melee, 3.5 stamina and 25.6 k health. Nice. Well, uh, we'll just grab one of these, convert. We will get a gun made up later on, but at the moment. Yay, one down. Uh, cute inventory. There we go. That's cracking. Absolutely cracking. Right, so, and we've got a knockout bird uh, taming up as well. So, basically, this is going to be a success, I think. 300 Ricky. Hmm. We just need to be careful with spitting when we're in the water now because there's, there's me uh, noxious megalodons. So, the, well, it's teamed up. Cool. Uh, megalodon, uh, the water's usually a scary place at the best of time. Never mind having things, more things to knock you out when you're out swimming. <laughs> What did you end up with? Five, five weight. Right. Let's see some inventory. Right, give me that. Give me that. And give me your saddle. Sorry, buddy. Um, inventory. Right, we'll have we one of them. Got to where we wanted to be, and certainly helped out so oh this is going to be good right and uh, taming this there we go both done right oh immediately an egg for my noxious to land on egg right Okay, I don't want to hit, I want to see, yeah, where's this parasol? Right, parasol's got 501 torpor. Should we do more than 501 torpor? Well, right, someone a bit stronger. Um, Yeah, it's knocked out, sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Um, so that was two hits. One, right, there's a bronze. Right, 21k, 21.1, right. It's a peg there. modded dino, can I fly backwards? No. No. Sometimes you get the modded dinos that allow you to fly back the way backwards. That is pretty good. Um, that's a lower case, but it's alright. Um, we'll just throw all this meat into the other one. And it's plenty of weight. Uh, oh, I think maybe get some more stamina. Up my health. 
and probably some weight because I think we're going to be on this more than anything else now. Um, safety reasons and yes, not just straight here. Yeah. Right, this is what we wanted. Oh, gosh. Right. So there we have it, folks. Target acquired. Target achieved. Might not be a max level. 600. Uh, Noxic, Noxic, Tyranodon would be absolutely lovely. But this one has there's plenty of torpor, that's what we want it. We don't want it hitting any harder. Yeah, so yep. We'll get this guy back and a Ranky, we'll get a saddle and Ranky, it means we can start getting plenty of metal now. And plenty of flint. Also it'll get gather pretty much good stone as well for us. So these two teams alone will be crucial to the progress. I may, I can't remember exactly where I saw that uh, Didicarus, but I may go and have a look for that off camera and see if we can get that as well. That would be spot on for the end of the day. That would be spot on. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you're enjoying the series. Having lots of fun. If you're not yet subscribed, we subscription is most welcome and totally appreciated. Also, hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode and leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the noxious animals as well. It actually gives the game a wee bit different twist. And basically, as you see, they do spawn in and they work properly. So, yeah. Take care, stay safe, we'll catch you next time.